So in this video, we're looking at uh, NASDAQ and USDT, and then I'll be posting more setups that are uh, currently going to form up or give us opportunities time and time again. So do subscribe, do click the notification bell so that you can see all those setups for yourself uh, and then so that you can analyze them for yourself. So we're looking at NASDAQ on the daily and then we have been going to the downside for quite a while just because we haven't broken any structure or this descending channel that I'm about to draw out with you guys. So we're looking at this descending channel and then at the top of the structure we have like a double top also it's supported by the outer structure of which is around here so we are looking for selling opportunities up until this area here or after we create like a lower low so looking at the daily the four hour chart sorry so on the four hour chart that is where you look at uh, your overall momentum and then i'll put like nicely my analysis and then this is the overall momentum as you can see it's giving us like a lot of momentum and then we have like this ascending channel within an uh, within a descending channel so a pattern within a pattern so we have this and then moving to the hour chart that is where you'll be looking for your entries and then we had like an entry of which it took us out uh, we took like some little profits partial profits and then it took us out on break even mostly and then we have an ascending within an ascending around here and then that is where like we took an entry around this area of which it tagged us out but we managed to secure some bit of profits so let's do this so this is what we have at the moment and then we broke structure we broke that 90% uh, rule area so the 90% rule is activated at the moment so we expect the market to give us like a larger flag around this area here so that it can reach the 90% rule so how am i how am i going to enter like nasdaq on this current market so i'll switch to the m15 and just look at where we are on the m15 so let me just rain this bit a bit a bit so looking at this structure i can see that we have this high here and then we have this low here in a form of a wick creation so what i'm expecting is for the market to trickle to the upside the way that it's doing after it gets here then we have like a double top that is where i'll decide if i take like an impulse down and then a tag flag a low risk entry of which it will be a tight stop and then first take profit would be around here normally for four point for four point something percent and then the overall target is the 90% rule since the 90% rule is activated and then another entry that I'll take is the double top of which is a risk entry and then my stop loss would be supported by the structure of which is this high here and then you take your first take profit normally around here and then your second take profit is at the 90% rule like I said the 90% rule is activated and then if you want to know more about the 90% rule you can look at the video that I pinned in this video here you can watch it after you watch this one then this is this is the overall trend on Nasdaq and then moving to the USDT pair and then before I get I, before I forget something let's move back to USDT for a bit for a minute before I forget something let's just remove these so we can get like an entry within this area here it can give us like some type of a tight flag just because the only tight flag that we had was this one here an early entry and then we can get like a tight flag here two bottoms and then it goes back to the upside and then you get like a nice tight flag around here that is where you can also take an entry around here around this area here and then you aim for the 90% rule as you take profit reason being we are still like in the amber amber zone just because this is the green zone of which you get like tight flags double tops risk entries at the top and then here is the amber zone you get like a tight flag larger flag and then this is the red zone that's where you get like only larger flags around this area here just because the market will be correcting for a long period of time so let's look at us 80 so on us 80 just remove everything switch to the daily and then the overall structure on 
US 30 we've been going to the downside for the longest of time and then this is just a corrective move to the upside so let's draw out like the outer structures first and then these are the outer structures on US 30 as you can see here like that and then we have a high around this area here of which the market will likely reverse in that area and then you have this uh, type of movement impulse down corrective move impulse down corrective move double top and then you push to the downside so let's remove those things and then we switch to the 4 hour chart that is where you look at the overall structure or the momentum of the markets so as you can see US30 is moving correctively in that going to that uh, high value area that we are looking for so it can reach this area in a form of a double top and an ascending channel and then it will just push to the downside or it can just trigger get people caught in the wrong side around this area touch the outer structure and then push to the downside so let's switch to the uh, our chart and then just uh, draw out the structures just because I can't draw like any structure I can't see any structure around there and then we have this structure pushing to the upside like this and then you can put like your 90% rule as your first take profit as it, is, as it will be activated soon and then if it is activated you get like a tight flag around this area you can take the tight flag knowing that the market can just trickle back to that uh, high value area and then decides to push down from that area there and then let's remove everything so that is it for USDT at the moment uh, but I think it will just push to the upside break this area and then push back to the ups to the downside give us a tight flag if it does not do that then it will just trickle to the outer structures and then in that way people will be caught in the wrong side thinking that it will retest around this area but it will just drop from there just because already Nasdaq has been dropping for the longest so yeah I'll see you on another video guys as I said I'll be posting uh, a lot of setups that are uh, going to take maybe a few hours to get ready or a few minutes to get ready so always be on the lookout and then click the notification bell